Okay, Leader, it's no secret in this chamber that in my eyes the protection of children and the provision of care for them is of absolute paramount importance. From education to safeguarding to mental health and holistic well-being, the government's role in ensuring that the children of this country are given every opportunity to grow, to succeed and flourish cannot be understated. And yet, it seems that every week there is another story of children in Ireland, somewhere, somehow, being failed by the state. This time, it was revealed in a HICWA report that two residents of a care home for disabled children in County Monaghan have been confined to a top floor of a house for a total of 59 days as the lift had been broken down on two separate occasions. Wheelchair bound children in state care, trapped in their own building. It sounds like a horror story of yesteryear that gets trotted out to remind us of how much we've progressed. But of course, this is here and now. The report from HICWA reads, the provider had not responded appropriately to either incident and had not put in place alternative arrangements. The provider had also failed to notify HICWA regarding the issues that the lift or the impact it had on residents on both occasions. During this time, the children could not attend school. One missed an appointment. They could not engage in limited activities on the landing of a first floor and they were forced to take their meals in the upstairs office area. On top of this, the centre was deemed to be not compliant in eight regulation areas, inclu including fire precautions and resident rights. So really, can hear, look, this comes down to oversight. The information came on foot of an unannounced inspection, so I think we need more of those, but perhaps a debate with the Minister might be of use as well. On a different front, I find myself agreeing with the Tornishta when it comes to how we're broadcasting the GAA. GAA Go, is a, as a platform, is an online-only joint venture between RTE and the GAA, and it's charging €79 Euro for access. RTE is a national broadcaster. The government pays them to broadcast. And when it comes to our national sports, they're going to charge people anyway. And not just that, but they're not even going to broadcast it on TV, combining distribution instead to streaming. It really is unacceptable, especially due to the barrier that it creates for older GAA fans who mightn't have the means or the knowledge to access this premium subscription service. Age Action has said, our concern would be that it is really important that everybody can take part in the GAA. It is part of the fabric of society. For many people, they have been loyal followers of the GAA all their lives, and I think that's spot on. So perhaps Minister Martin could come into this house to discuss greater equality in access to GAA. Thank you. Uh, Senator Cogan then kicked off uh, the debate around, um, he spoke about protection of children and the, the, the particular issue in relation to Monaghan. I don't have full details, Senator, of that particular issue, but I take what you've said on board. Um, and it is just very distressing for those two children that they couldn't get to school or couldn't get down the stairs and there was no lift. I think that's just unacceptable. And I'm not sure how any facility thought that that could persist for that length of time. I think that there's serious questions to be asked there. And I'm only glad that it was discovered, uh, it seems, just by chance, really. Um, but uh, just uh, hopefully that situation has been resolved now. But the debate then around GA Go and the uh, pay for premium subscription that the GA and RTE are now putting forward to um, to, citizen, or to citizens and to, to, to fans and supporters of the GA. I think many senators contributed to that debate this morning. Uh, Senator Mark Wall, Paddy Burke, Timmy Dooley, um, Martin Conway, Robbie Gallagher and others as well. Uh, I think it's fair to say it was probably the, the key issue being raised in the chamber today. And I think it speaks to the value which we place in the GA, the importance of the GAA in all of our communities. And that's why people are angry. If people weren't angry about it, it meant that they didn't really care about it. But it shows that we care. Um, and I do think that the GA should reflect on this particular decision. There's two aspects to it. One is um, the access, because many, many people in this country don't have access to quality broadband to even use the prescription, subscription if they wanted to. But separate to that, there shouldn't be a subscription. It should be free to watch. It's our national game. The broadcaster is paid handsomely by the state and by the taxpayer to run the services. And the GAA has their hand out every day of the week asking for donations of volunteers and communities around the country. And we've all supported the GAA in our local communities. So on that basis, considering people already pay into the organisation uh, and are very generous to the GAA and their communities, and 
as I think it was Senator Dooley said, the GA is run on volunteers. People don't get paid, or most people in the GA don't get paid. So we shouldn't be charging people to watch their national game. I think it's just, I think it's disgraceful and I think it's outrageous and they need to reflect on it. And I have put a request into the Minister for um, Tourism and Sport, uh, uh, Catherine Martin, to come to the Chamber and have a debate on it. I'm sure she would share our concerns also on this particular issue, but it would be good to have that debate nonetheless. Uh, and 79 euros is a huge amount of money. I don't know where that particular fee was, was dreamt up, um, but I think the anger and the, the views of members should go back very clearly. Um,